Now we are coming to the tulip heat. An important part for the production will be the spine implants. With age, the vertebra and the disc between them become damaged. The doctors speak here about scoliosis, osteoporosis, and disc prolapsy. A medical screw system uses roads and screws to stabilize and support the vertebral while maintaining mobility. In this area, we can offer different kinds of parts. We have here on one side the titanium cages. On the other side, we have also the loops and the screws for the spine area. Important will be here that the products have a perfect surface because it will be drilled inside of the bone material and it must grow together. Also, the peak for the spine, the cages, must have a special solution because special bone material will be also involved that they grow together in the perfect way. So, my um, maybe you can tell us something about our new multi-spindle machine where we can produce the parts. Thank you very much again, Mark. So one of the key components for being competitive in the medical industry today is to be faster and more accurate than your competition. Many different houses and manufacturing facilities around the United States use the same type of machines, traditional Swiss machines, whether it be Citizen, Star, or any of the other manufacturers that are out there. But you can have six traditional Swiss machines that all need an operator. They all need somebody there tending the machine 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Or you can combine multiple machine operations into our MS series, our multi-spindle series, and kick a part out in usually a ratio of about five to one. So what we're showing here is the MS-22 machine, which it incorporates a lot of our patented uh, technology that we've developed over 108 years of production turning expertise. So when you look at the machine, you have up to 16 tool carriers with one or two axes and optional Y axis in each of those. So when you're looking at this machine, don't think of it as a complicated multi-spindle. Think of it as six or eight three-axis lathes. And what you're doing is, is you're dividing up the manufacturing process equally over those six individual lathes. The nice thing is, is it's combined in a very simple, easy to program format that is our design. So you have very high accuracy dynamic slideways, non-wearing Z-axis due to quills and hydrostatic support I'll get into a little bit later. And then you have back working where you can do complex parts and be able to hold extremely tight tolerances. You can use chucks or you can use bars. And then you have our integrated touch panel for easy operation and use from your operators. The work area itself, when you look at the machine, um, there's no external tool block, so you have fully functional chip fall. So you're not getting a lot of the stringers and, and the spinning nasty chips getting wrapped around your tools because you're, you're taking that horizontal approach. Gravity takes the chips down. It's an easier way to go from there. You have slides that you have two tools on each slide. So you have things that you can't normally do through our competitor's machine. You have eight motorized spindles with step with speed control, which means that they're fully integrated spindles, zero to full RPM, back to full part RPM the opposite direction in less than a second. Every spindle has a full C axis. So literally anything you can think of that you wanna be able to do, constant surface spinach, rapid acceleration, high torque, is completely programmable on these machine spindles. The Z axis slide is an integrated spindle housing. I'll talk about that a little bit further on and we're cooling the lubrication to direct cutting edges of each tool holder. So I can have up to 1,000 PSI at every single tool position in this machine, which allows me to 
extend my tool life, break my chips, get better production out of that. The key to a successful production of these parts is consistency. You can't have a thermally unstable machine tool. So Index has our patented core for all eight of our spindles which is a individually cooled system. It's a labyrinth style cooling system that allows you to cool multiple positions of every spindle and treat them independently. So a spindle that's doing a high acceleration can be next to a spindle that's doing a C-axis, accurate C-axis move and not transmit heat, therefore no Z-axis movement from one to the other. That gives you highest repeatability and extremely high accuracy. Also, the spindle drum transfers or rotates on a hearth coupling system that allows us to maintain our position of all eight spindles to within microns. So it allows for a very small compact area in a maintenance-free design. There's nothing that has to be done to control the cooling of those spindles. The tool slides themselves on the MS are manufactured and 100% designed by us. You have a maximum of 16 tool carriers, so two slides for each spindle. It's unique to us and our competition. Our competition has one slide per spindle, we have two. So we can literally have twice the number of tools in any spindle. So that gives us a variety of use to be able to set up and engineer and change. Any Driven or non-driven tool can be moved to any position at any time, and it's fully controlled within our spindle. The use of several tools allows us to be extremely versatile and reduce those cycle times down to minimum numbers. And you have full Z-axis for polygon turning and other uh, extended uses. And don't forget, you can have Y-axis on many of these slides as well. Making sure we don't transmit vibration from one cutting tool position to the other is controlled by our hydrostatic bearing and our Z-axis quilt. This allows for a wear-free, maintenance-free, backlash-free, high rigidity, optimal dampening position. So what we do is we transfer uh, thousands of PSI of hydro hydraulic uh, fluid around that quill which then acts as a hydrostatic bearing, which allows us to prevent or not transmit vibration from one cutting surface to the other. The other nice thing is this is a completely sealed system. So none of that hydraulic oil is going or mixing into your cutting oil. Okay, so let's take a minute to compare the cost and look at an ROI, return on investment, uh, comparing the index multi-spindle to a traditional Swiss type machine. Your initial investment is a little over $2 million on the index versus a half a million dollars on the Swiss machine. Let's go ahead and set up a payment structure of 84 months on both of those and a monthly payment interest rate of 5.75. You'll see that your payments on the multi-spindle are roughly $30,000 a month compared to $7,200 a month on a Swiss machine. Your daily hour of operations is 20, and your cycle time is 60 seconds versus 348 seconds. What that means is our pieces per week is you're almost getting 6,000 pieces per week out of the MS228 from index versus 1,000 pieces per week on each Swiss machine. Take that over 50 weeks in a year, we're going to produce 290,000 parts versus 51,000 parts. Now, you take a look at your cost per piece, you're generating almost 34% additional profit running this on a multi spindle as opposed to our traditional Swiss machine. Your cost per piece goes from $1.26 to $1.68. So you can see that the, the math works, the profitability uh, is obvious, and the output is second to none. So what we would like to show in the next video is a tulip head being manufactured on an MS-22-8.
Uh, this is going to be a 60 second cycle time and it's roughly a 14 millimeter bar by 15 millimeters in length. Please enjoy the video. <laughs> 